Good evening, everybody. Happy, how are you doing on this Father's Day? But anyway, now, I'm just want to let you know, I'm going to be re-showing my entire Pixar DVD, the DVD collection, but this time, I'm going to show the Blu-ray. So this is a Pixar DVD Blu-ray collection now. We know back in November, I did do a video of my uh, Pixar uh, DVD collection, which we know that video is still up on my channel as of today. Hey, right? and that is the, the video I've got, I've, that's my most viewed video because that video has over 10,000 views, so. And also, I'm also doing this because we know on Friday, the new Pixar film Inside Out came out in theaters, and I actually did, I have seen the movie because I saw, I saw the movie in movie theaters with my best friend Luke yesterday over at the Showcase Cinemas movie theater in Warwick, Rhode Island, and the movie was fantastic. It was very good. But I know critics have been giving it good reviews. I know it's been considered, some people consider it to be the greatest Pixar film ever. I loved it, but not enough for it to be the best Pixar film. So, yeah. But it was still a great Pixar film. I will get the Blu-ray when it comes out sometime. I'm assuming the Blu-ray will come out in November. But let's not talk about that right now because it just came out in theater. So, let's get started. And like the last time I showed the Pixar DVDs, I'm going to show these in order of when the films were first re released theatrically. Including the Blu-rays with them. So, Let's get started, shall we? First up, we're going to start off with Pixar's first film, and this is my all-time favorite Pixar film, and that's Toy Story. This is the 2010 DVD. This is the first Pixar film released, as this was released in theaters in November of 1995. And there's the Disney Movie Awards. My, my mom got this for me at in uh, at um, Target in War Ground on my birthday back in July of 2011. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. In the back, it says two thumbs up. Wait for Toy Story Stay by Siskel and Ebert. For most features, got Toy Story 3 Sneak Peek, The Story, Buzz Lightyear, Mission Logs, Blast Off, 3 m Studio Stories, Buzz Takes Manhattan, and more. Yeah, and this is my all time favorite Pixar film. Oh, sorry. I'm going to open this. See, if we got the Disney Movie Awards, I already answered that code in, and I think the Blu ray. There's no guide, but the disc. The disc is on a holographic disc, which you can see Woody and Buzz Lightyear. And holographic disc are on Disney EVs is extremely cool. And they did a fantastic job with this. One of the best holographic Disney DVD artwork they've ever done so far. So, yeah. So, yeah. There we go with uh, Toy Story. And next up, this is my... S next up, we got Pixar's second film. This is... A Bug's Life, this is the 2003 Collector's Edition DVD, and it has the Disney Movie Rewards because this is a later release, and there's some rips because I tried painting over the Disney Movie Rewards, but things got out of control, but I got this at Walmart in North and back in July of 2011. This was the first, one of the first Disney DVDs I ever got when I started getting back into collecting, and this is a um, good, and this is my second favorite Pixar film, and this was Pixar's second film as this was released in theaters in November of 1998. As you can see, here's the spine. and the back, it says the world's first DVD created directly from the digital source. The bonus features got explore Bugs Land activity game, learn fish effects about finding Nemo, browse character designs, concept art, and color scripts, view abandoned sequences, laugh out loud at hilarious outtakes, watch Pixar's Academy Award winning short Jerry's game, and plus much more. And there's also some special specifications. I'm going to open this up. See, there's a DVD guide. Here's disc one, which has the movie in it. It has Flick, Princess Ada, Flick, Princess Ada, Francis, Heimlich, and Dot. And here's disc two with the bonus features. And you see Hopper, Molt, and all the other evil grasshoppers. Still, there we go with this DVD of A Bug's Life. But we're not done with The Bug's Life because now we're going to do the DVD, the Blu ray, because I also got. The 2008 Blu-ray, it says, an epic presentation of miniature proportions. I got this off of Disney Movie Rewards last summer. This is the Blu-ray and digital copy combo pack. I know there's also a, a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, which was released in 2010, but I don't have that, in, nor that I'm going to get it, because I'm fine with this one. Anyways, you can see, here's the spine. In the back, and there's no critic review for this one. And it's basically got the same bonus features on uh, as the collector's edition, except there's also two new bonus features, which are 
A Bug's Life, the first draft of all new, never before seen animated sequences from the original story treatment with introduction by John Lasseter, because John Lasseter directed this film. And Filmmakers Roundtable, Filmmakers Reflect on the Creation of the Film. Now it's got some, afterwards it's got the same bonus features on the, um, on the, uh, Collector's Edition DVD. Let me open this up. See, we got the thing for the Disney Movie Rewards. I already answered that code, and it's got this thing, uh, a thing for up, because this Blu-ray was released on May 29th, 2009. Yeah, if I didn't say this is a 2009 Blu-ray. And 10 days later, Up would be coming to theater, so this Blu-ray, I guess, was released to promote Up, but, you know, it's got this thing where you get a free movie ticket for Up. Of course, I can't redeem that, because this, this Blu-ray is over six years old. And this thing for uh, Blu-ray. And then this thing, it's blank, though. I don't know what it's about, though, but... Here are the desk. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which you can see Flick, Flick, Dot, Heimlich, and Francis... And here's the digital copy, which has Fleck and Dot. This is this is one of the very few D Disney digital copies to have artwork. So I'm going to take the disc out because there's some artwork right here. Yep. Very nice artwork. Still, there you go with this Blu-ray of A Bug's Life. Okay. And next we got Pixar's third film, Toy Story 2 of 2010. This was released in theaters in November of 1999. This was the last Pixar film um, to be released in the 20th century. My dad and I got this DVD at Walmart in North Carolina the day right before I got the first Toy Story back on July 29th, 2011, which was the day before my birthday. Here's the spine. In the back it says... The toys are back with even more hilarious events. What's to stay by? Desmond Thompson, The Washington Post. A bonus feature got Toy Story 3 Sneak Peek, The Characters, Buzz Lightyear Mission Logs, International Space Station, 3 m Studio Stories, Pixar Zoe Trope, and more. This up. So we got, we got the Disney Movie Awards. I already entered the code in and the thing for Blu-ray. Now you see inserts is on the uh, first Toy Story DVD. And... The disc, it's on a holographic disc again, because you can see Woody, Buzz, and Jesse. Still, there you go with this DVD of uh, Toy Story 2. Okay, and now, next up we got Pixar's fourth film. This is Monsters, Inc., the 2000 Collector's Edition DVD, and this was the first Pixar film to be released in the 20th, 21st century, as this was released in theaters in, this was released in, theaters in, in uh, November of 2001. It says, an instant classic state by Joel Siegel for Good Morning America. And this is, and we know this film, um, this film did very well at the box office as well, even though this film was in competition, because this film was in, was in theaters at the same time as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone owned it, because Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was released in theaters a few weeks after this. And Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. In the back, it says, Smart, Inventive, and Executed with State-of-the-Art Finance Today by David Anson of Newsweek. Bonus features got all new anime short film, Mike's New Car, for Filmmaker's Audio Commentary, for The Birds, fi 2001 Academy Award anime short film. Finding Nemo, exclusive look at Disney Pixar Summer 2003 feature film. Finding Nemo, hilarious outtakes in the Monsters and Company play. Put that thing back where it came from. Or So Help Me, as well as the Monster World. All where you can um, do all the stuff in the Monster World. And the human stuff is basically, you know, behind the scenes. As well as some, you know, behind the scenes, as well as some deleted scenes and a few others. I'm going to open this up. As you can see, we got the DVD guy right there. It's... The, the discs are packaged are a little differently, though. Here's disc one, which has the movie, and it has Mike and Sully. And here's disc two with the bonus features, and you see Mr. Wire News, Randall, Celia, Ross, Smitty, and Nebelman. I know some copies of the 2002 Platinum Edition DVD of Beauty and the Beast have the same packaging. Unfortunately, my copy of the 2002 Platinum Edition DVD of Beauty and the Beast doesn't, because it has the regular styling. 
But this DVD includes a preview for that, as well as the preview for Finding Nemo and a few others. So there you go with Monsters Inc. All right, and now on to Pixar's uh, fifth film, and that's Finding Nemo. This was also the first Pixar film to have a theatrical release date other than November, because this was released in theaters in May of 2003, and this DVD came out on, I think, November 5th. No, 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 I'm, 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 I think I'm, I just guessed that day. I don't know when this DVD came out. But it was sometime in November of, of 03. This is one of the year's best films today by Joel Siegel of Good Morning America. And you know, this is the highest, this, the second highest grossing film of 2003, right behind The Lord of the Rings, one of the films in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. But, anyways, you can see, here's the spine. This held the record for the highest grossing fil film, film, this got the record for the highest grossing animated film of all time, which was previously held by The Lion King. It held that record for a year until Shrek 2 took the crown, and then the crown would then later be taken to Toy Story 3. Anyway, here's the spine. In the back it says, Healing Entertainment, Way Cool, Stay by Peter Travels of Rolling Stone, and unlike any other movie you've ever seen, you could be 5 or 95 and you'll enjoy this film, Stay by Leonard Maltin of Hot Ticket. It's got a bunch of bonus features. As you can see, there's no inserts. I forgot what happened to the guy, though. But here's this one, which has the widescreen version of the film. And it has Marlin and Nemo. And here's this two, which has the full screen version of the film and, and the bonus features. And you see Marlin, Dory, and Nigel. Uh, still, there you go with this Blu-ray of Finding Nemo. I mean, no, the DVD of Finding Nemo. However, it's okay that I said Blu-ray because I also got... The 2012 3D Blu-ray, and this is the Ultimate Collector's Edition. I got this at Walmart in North Island back in January of 2014. This is a lenticular slipcover. I love this cover, by the way. I like this cover better than the 03 DVD. I just love how I love the characters. Except for some reason they put in Nemo is not on the cover. Well, Nemo is actually on the spine. It's kind of weird, though. But it says, Winner Academy Award, Best Animated Feature Film. Got a lot of bonus features. I'm not, I'm not going to say them because there's just way too many to name. See, so we've got the Disney Movie Awards and also, which are into the code and the more to see inside thing. All the sweepstakes. Uh huh. Now, this has five discs. Ooh. Uh, here's the Blu ray disc, which you can see Marlin, Dory, Crush, Bruce, um, Nigel, all the sea tank creatures, Mr. Ray, and a bunch of the other sea creatures. Here's the regular, the 2D Blu-ray, regular 2D Blu-ray with the movie. And it has Marlin, Dory, e, um, Crush, and Bruce. Here's the 2D Blu-ray with the bonus features, which has the same characters as on the second disc of the DVD, but you also had the Mipe sequels. Here's the DVD, which has the same characters from the 2D Blu-ray with the movie, except they also put Nemo right there. And finally, here's the digital copy. So there you go with this Blu-ray of Finding Nemo. Excellent film. Next, we got The Incredibles, Pixar's sixth film. Now, this DVD came out out in uh, 2005 in, on Mar in March because the film was theatrically released in theaters in November of 04. Now this is uh, the first Pixar film also to get a PG rating. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. In the back it says, The year's wittiest, zippiest adventure with each knockout action sequence escaping the last day by Richard Corals of Time. And it's James Bond, Indiana Jones, and the X-Men all rolled into one escape by Peter Travels of Rolling Stone. Okay, move this up. See, we got the DVD guide. Here's disc one, which has the movie, and it has Mr. Incredible. And here's disc two with the bonus features. You just need Edna Moan. And I'll say the quote No capes, and I fix the Hoda suit. <laughs> A classic. Still, there you go with this DVD of The Incredibles. Alright. What's next? Oh, here's what's next. This is Pixar's seventh film. The. Widescreen edition DVD of Cars, it says, from the careers of The Incredibles and Finding Nemo. This was released in theaters in June of 2006. 
starting with this film, you know, the Pixar films would all, all have summer releases. Of course, Pixar also has another film coming out this summer, which is The Good Dinosaur, which will be the first Pixar film since uh, The Incredibles to have a November release. Of course, Good Dinosaur will also be going head-to-head -head with another animated film, which will be the Peanuts movie. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. In the back, it says, An instant classic is stayed by Richard Quarles of Time, and Two Thumbs Up is stayed by Eper and Ropier. This was also the last Pixar film to get THX certified. But the THX logo doesn't creep me out. But you see, unfortunately, there's no inserts, but here's the disc, which has Lightning McQueen and Mater. Still there you go with this DVD of Cars. Okay. And next up we got Ratatouille in, from the careers of Cars and the Incredibles. This was released in theaters in June of 2007. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. In the back it says unique and unmissable state or stayed by Peter Travels of Rolling Stone. Rolling Street got deleted scenes, all new anime short, Remy and Emile and Your Friend the Rat. Fine Food and Film, and the short film Lifted, which was made in 2006 and it was shown in theaters attached to this film. And Auntie Linda got this for me around the time this DVD came out because she owned a Blockbuster store, or she used to own a Blockbuster store. Of course, you know, all the Blockbusters have closed down. And she said one night when I was at my Auntie Karen's house that she would try and get for me, so she left the house and, like, uh, a little bit later she came back and she had the DVD for me. Looks like she got from one of her Blockbuster stores, except this isn't in a Blockbuster case because you can see it's not, it doesn't have the Blockbuster design. I did have all the inserts to the DVD, but I, I don't, I can't remember what happened when I did something to them, but oh well. But here's the disc, it's a holographic disc, which you can see Remy on there. Still, this DVD of Ratatouille is excellent indeed, so yeah, if you like I like when you give her too if you like movies about chefs, about cooking. Next up, this next DVD is a short film collection, which I have two copies of it. Which this is. Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1. I, got th I have two copies of it, and I'll explain why in a bit. I got this copy I got for... I got both of these for Christmas, so I got them from different years. I got this for Christmas for my sisters back in... Um, 2000 back in 2009 this is volume one i don't have volume two but however i did see a copy of volume two the blu-ray of cop the blu-ray dvd count pack of volume two on disney movie rewards i'm i'm still the only difference the only problem is i don't have enough points i need i mean i need 85 more points if anybody this is just an offer but if anybody is willing if anybody is willing to to um Send me a private message of a Disney Movie Rewards code that you have not used is willing to give it to me so then I can go on Disney Movie Rewards and get the Blu-ray. If anyone is willing to do that, I really hope you do because I really want to get that Blu-ray. So if you want me to do it, just uh, uh, send me a private message of, uh, of a Disney Movie Rewards code oh, that you could um, that I could use that you haven't used. So if, you, if you're up for doing that, please, please do that. But... Anyways, as you can see here, here's the spine. In the back it says 13 sensational Pixar shorts together for the first time. This has the shorts The Adventures of Andre and Wally B, Luxo Jr., Red's Dream, Tin Toy, Knick Knack, Jerry's Game, For the Birds, Mike's New Car, Bounding, Jack Jack Attack, One Man Man, Band, Major in the Ghost Light, and Lifted. Your Friend the Rat, this DVD came out the, the same day as the DVD of Ratatouille did. Your Friend the Rat isn't included on this, but Your Friend, Friend the Rat, according to what I was told, was featured on Volume 2. So if anyone's willing to give me a Disney Movie Rewards code that's up to at least 100 points, then please do that, because I really want to get the Blu-ray. Oh. As you can see, we got the DVD guide. There's also this thing for Disney Movie Rewards. I ran into the code. And here's the hall. Here's a holographic disc is on a holographic disc, which you can see the Luxo lamp. So yeah, there you go with this DVD of Chris Rockman Volume One. All right, and I have another copy of it. You're probably wondering where did you get another copy? I got this for Christmas back in 2013. I got it for my my dad's crit, cr my dad's girlfriend because um. 
because he um she um because we on Christmas 2013 we went over to my dad's house and his gr girlfriend was there and him and his girlfriend got us Christmas pre me and my sister's Christmas presents and oh she I did get the Blu-ray of uh, Big the 2013 Blu-ray of Big I think as you remember if you saw my update back in uh, the day after Christmas of 2013 but. She also gave me this DVD, but I did not do an update because I already had it. So, but I decided I did. I don't think she knew that I had. I already had a copy of this, but I decided to keep it just in case you know one broke. So then I'd have another copy. But this copy, the slip cover is in much better condition, and there's no snappy things on the uh, on the case. Still got the same guy, but the Disney Movie Rewards thing has changed. It's a lot smaller. And I have put the disc in though, and it, the disc is the same, so yeah, that's why I have two copies of it. So, yeah, the Pixar Show comes only one at High Command. So, as I said, if anybody is anybody is willing to send me a private message for a Disney Movie Rewards code that could lead to 100 points, I beg you, please do that so that I can get volume two. I hope you do that. I hope you're generous enough to do it. You don't have to, but, you know, I think that'd be really great if somebody did, so then, you know, I can get volume two. So, yeah, there you go on that. All right, now back to the feature films. Films next we got... Why? I know the case is badly damaged, but that's okay. It says, from the creators of Finding Nemo and Cars, because this film was directed by the same person who directed Finding Nemo, that being Andrew Stanton. And this... This was released in theaters in November of 2008. My, my Auntie Karen got this for me at Target and Warground back in uh, 2008. November of 2008. Yeah, this film was released in theaters in June of 28. Here's the spine. Oh, wait. Here's the spine. Top. Another spine. Bottom. Back. It says Enthralling Entertainment Day by Rachel Corals at Times. Those you have got the Bernie animated short. Presto theatrical animated short. Deleted scene. Sneak peek. Well, he's toward the universe. Animated sound design, building worlds from the sound up, audio commentary with director Andrew Stanton, and more. This was the last Pixar DVD to have a guide. So, yep, we got 32 chapter selections. And, uh, here's the desk, which I know you can also see me in the camera, me and my phone recording here. And me filming with my phone, with my iPhone, but. Still, Wally is very good indeed. So yeah, I'll go ahead and check out Wally. Okay, next up is a great one. This was the first Pixar film I ever saw in theaters. And that's Up. This was released in theaters in in um, May of two thousand nine. It says number one AMA film of the year. Yeah, of course, this was not the highest grossing film of two thousand nine because we know. Avatar, that year, Avatar became the highest grossing film of all time because we know Avatar is now the highest grossing film of all time. Sorry, that squeaky noise. I'm just screwing it. I'm just fixing this light bulb that's above my, my desk. But, you know, this is Pixar's 10th film. And uh, starting with this film, I, this was the first Pixar film I ever saw in theaters. And I would see every Pixar film starting with this one, theaters onwards. And I did see Pixar's new film, Inside Out out in theaters yesterday. Anyway, I originally got this DVD for Christmas. It's in 2009, along with the uh, my first copy of the Pixar Short Films Volume 1. But over the past five months, you know, the discs started getting scratched up. So I got another, I got this copy at Walmart in North Carolina back at the end of May. And this copy works fine. Anyway, here's the spine. In the back, it says, Four Stars, A Wonderful Film, a by Roger Ebert of the, of the Chicago Sun-Times. Well, so you just got the Doug Special Mission and Partly Cloudy. As I says, it says from the creators of Fine Nemo and Monsters, Inc. And this film was directed by the same person who directed Monsters, Inc. being Pete Docter. And Pete Docter also directed the Pixar's new film, Inside Out. So if, you, if you've seen Inside Out, let me know in the comments there. If you haven't seen Inside Out, let me know. Just, uh, if you haven't seen Inside Out, um, go ahead and see it. I highly recommend it. See, so we hope we got the Disney Movie Awards. Or into cool. And the thing for the Dumbo Special Edition and uh, Blu-ray. No other inserts. Sorry if it just got a little dark. The clouds just went by the sun. I mean, I, if I just said there are no inserts, I'm sorry. There were, were inserts. I just showed you the inserts. There's no guide, I mean. But the ho it's a holographic disc, which you'd see Carl and Russell. 
This is also my favorite film from 2009. This is, yeah, actually, this is tied with Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince as my favorite film from 2009. Maybe Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince is probably a number two, I think. But still, yeah, there you go with that. Okay, next up, we got the Toy Story 3. Three. This was released in theaters in June of 2010. You know, this was a big... You know, this... You know, this was, this is the highest grossing film of 2010. This was a big blockbuster. I remember it. it, it I remember it. it was so good that I saw this in film... I saw this film in theaters three times. Yes, I saw this in theaters three times. It was just an amazing film. I mean, it was just an amazing. We all know that... You know, originally, people thought this... Pe a lot of people, and even Pixar, thought that this was going to be the final Toy Story film. But then we know in November it was announced that Pixar will be doing a fourth story. A fourth Toy Story, which I'm very excited about that. Th and and it, for three years, this... And we know this broke the record for the highest grossing film of... Highest grossing animated film of all time, um, which was previously held by uh, Shrek 2. But, but we know... So this held the record for three whole years until 2003... When Frozen took the crown, so now Frozen is the highest grossing anime. Frozen is the highest grossing animated film, of course. But this is still the highest grossing. This is still the highest grossing Pixar film. Oh, never mind, because this film made a lot of money, so this is the highest the, the highest grossing Pixar film ever. Anyway, here's the spine. In the back, it says an instant classic, the statement Richard Quarles of time. This film was directed by the same person who co-directed Toy Story. Toy. This film was directed by. By the same person who co-directed Toy Story 2, Monsters, Inc. and uh, Finding Nemo, that being Lee Unkridge. Instead of co-directing this film, he, he was the official director. I think Darla K. Anderson was... No, Darla... She wasn't the co-director. Darla K. Anderson was the producer. I think he, Lee Unkridge was the only director. I'll open this up. As you can see, we got the Disney Movie Awards and a thing for Blu-ray and uh, promo there. Here's this, which is the holographic disc, which you see Woody... Buzz, Jesse, Rex, lots of one of the Squeeze Toy Aliens, Bullseye, Slinky, and Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Find where they didn't put Ham the Piggy Bank on there, but hey, that's okay. But still, there you go with this DVD of Toy Story 3. But we're not done with Toy Story 3 yet, because I also got... And by the way, Toy Story 4, by the way, Toy Story 4 will be coming to theaters on June 16th, 2017. So only three years, we only have to wait... So now we only got two more years to wait. I can wait two years for it because I need to give them some time to get it ready. Next, we got the Blu-ray of Toy Story 3. I got this at Newbury Comics and War Ground back in August of 2014. It's basically the same thing, but in a slipcover. But there's a lot more bonus features, which I'm not going to explain because that'll take up too much time. Okay, I'll do this up. Okay, yep, we got the same thing and everything. All this stuff. See, here's the Blu-ray disc, disc with the movie. It has Woody, Buzz, as uh, Bullseye, Jesse, Barbie, Ken, one of the Squeeze Toy Aliens, Rex, Linky Dog, and Lotso. Here's the uh, second disc, which has Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, Mr. Prickle Plant Pants, the peas in a bag, Buttercup. Yeah, it's Buttercup. Uh, Trixie, Dolly, the Bookworm, and those two other toys. I forgot what their name was. Here is the DVD, which had the same um, characters. And here's the digital copy. Yeah, Ham, Ham the Piggy Bank does not appear on any of the discs. I find that weird, but he is in the movie. He has, he, he's, he is on the slipcover, but, you know, his face is kind of blocked by this sticker. But he does appear in the actual case, and he is in the actual movie. Still there you go with Toy Story 3. I gotta hurry because I'm running out. I don't have a lot of time here, but okay. Next we got Cars 2. This was released in theaters in June of 2011, and there's some rips because I got this at Target in Warwick, Rhode Island, back in February of 12 of 2012. But we know over the summer I I went went on my dad's boat and uh, he took it to Connecticut, and I brought this DVD with me to watch. But then when I left, I, um, my dad left it in Connecticut for a few days after I left it, and I, it looks like, I guess I left the DVD up on the top, 
I guess I left the DVD up on the on the on the top steering wheel area. It looks like a lot of rain came and uh, ruined the case, but hey, that's okay. Here's the spine back. No quick review. Well, it doesn't say quick review in here, but in the description it says is even better than before. Uh, Rave Spear travels of Rolling Stone. Now a lot of people say that this is the the worst Pixar film of all time, but I actually really like it. I think it's even better than the first Cars. That's just my opinion. For those of you who want to know why, you know, this is considered the worst Pixar film, or the reason why it's been it was considered so bad, just uh, look at my video like of two different versions of Cars too, and you'll see why it's considered the worst. But I actually like it. This is my second favorite. This is my second favorite film from from two thousand. This no, this is not. This is my favorite. This film is tied with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 as my favorite film from 2011. Here's the Disney Movie Awards and a thing for a little promo. It's in an eco case. And here's the disc which has Lightning McQueen, Mater, um, Holly, and... Uh, shoot, I forgot what that his name was. I forgot what that car's name was. So there you go with this Blu-ray. Oh, car. Cars 2. The DVD. However, however, I do have the Blu-ray of Cars 2, and this has a different cover. You can see a bunch of the characters on here. I like the the DVD cover, though. Believe it or not, here's the spine in the back, and uh, it's got the same thing in the description. So, it's got the Disney movie reward. It's got all the same inserts, but here's the Blu-ray disc, which has Lightning McQueen, Mayor, and all the other cars, including Francesco and the two spies. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie. It has the 2D Blu-ray disc with the movie. It has the same characters as on the DVD. Here's the uh, Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, and it's got Lightning McQueen, Mayor, and the other car spy. Here's the DVD with the same characters, and here's the digital copy. So there you go with this Blu-ray of Cars 2. And the last DVD I ever have to show is Brave. This is the this was released in theaters in June of 2012. And to be honest, this is my opinion. I consider this to be Pixar's worst film to date. I know it says Pixar has a done self like visual magic and vivid storytelling say appear travels of Rolling Stone. To be honest, I think this is absolutely the worst Pixar film of all time. It's not a terrible film, you know. I just think this is the worst film that they've done. I don't know why, I even though this won the Academy Award for Best AMA Feature, which totally should have gone to Wreck-It Ralph, I don't know why, I just, it felt like a DreamWorks film. The animation looks like, kind of looks like it used animation from How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know why, but it did, but oh well. Here's the spine in the back, no critic review, but it's got the um, features, got the La Luna short, The Legend of Mordu, and audio commentary. Here we got the Disney Movie Awards and Arians the Code that thing. Here's the disc, which you'd see Merida, the King and the Queen, and her three silent brothers. Still there you go with this blurry of Break? No. The DVD. Excuse me, why do I keep saying that? However, I do have the Blu-ray, which I got at Walmart in North Kings Rhode Island back in uh, the day after Christmas of 2012. It's got the same it says the same thing as on the uh, DVD. And this is the ultimate collector's edition. Anyway, you could see here's the spine. In the back, same thing. I actually have not put the disc into this Blu-ray yet, but I'll try to put them in soon. So we got the Disney Movie Awards code. Here's the Blu-ray disc. Here, no, here's the 3D Blu-ray disc, which has Merida. Here's the 2D Blu-ray with the movie. and Merida. Here's the 2D Blu-ray disc with the bonus features, and it's the King, the Queen, and our three silent brothers. Here's the DVD, which has the same characters, and here's the digital copy. Still, there you go with this Blu-ray Brave. Okay, and last is a, also a Blu-ray. I have no DVD version of it, and you know what this is? The Ultimate Collector's Edition Blu-ray of Monsters University. It says, hilarious and heartwarming story by Chris Nashawadi of Entertainment Weekly. I got this at Walmart in North... Oh, by the way, the DVD of Brave... 
the, the 3D Blu-ray of, uh, oh, hold on. The 3D Blu-ray of Cars 2 I got at Walmart in North Carolina back in December, back in February of 2012. The DVD of Brave I got for Christmas in 2012, so my apologies for that. That screw up. Ugh, sorry about that. But, for Monsters University, uh, I got this at Walmart. This was released in theaters in June of 2013, and... I got this at Walmart. Now it's because around back in November of 2013, back on the first day of November. You know, you know, I all didn't, I didn't update. You all know what this is. This was the second Blu-ray I, I ever owned. It's fine. Back. No critic review, but it's got a lot of bonus features. I like this film a lot better than Monsters, Inc., believe it or not. I actually kept the receipt thing. Yeah, it's, it's too late to return this now. Let's see? It's already ruined and everything. Mm -hmm. This little promo thing, it's got the Disney Movie Rewards code. And this was the very first Disney Movie Rewards code I ever entered, believe it or not. Here's the 3D Blu-ray disc, which has Mike and Sully. Here's the 2D Blu-ray with the movie. It has Mike, Sully, Archie the Scarepig, and all the other MU students. Here's the 2D Blu-ray with the bonus features, and it's got Mike Sully, everyone from Uzma Kaba, and Archie the Scare Kit Pig, and here's the DVD, which has Mike and Sully. There we go. So there you go with Monsters University, and that's my entire Pixar DVD and Blu-ray collection. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay for my next video. As I said, if anyone's willing to give me a free Disney, give me to uh, send me a private message of a Disney movie rewards code, I really appreciate that because you know I'll be able to get the Blu-ray Pixar short films volume two. If you're if you want to do that, that's fine. If you don't want to, that's okay. But have a nice Father's Day.